Hey everyone, I'm really excited about this new year uh, in our small group looking at spiritual practices. I hope you are too. Um, as we begin this year, our first month, we're going to be looking at scripture. Um, you remember that familiar verse, 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17, which talks about how scripture is inspired and all these things that it's good for. We spend a lot of time looking at the inspiration part of that, but I think we really need to think about how scripture is beneficial to us so that we can teach people, so that we can know our doctrine, so that we can... Um, so that we can be trained in righteousness. This is very important to us as Christians, and it, and it really is a starting point um, if we want to grow closer to God this year. Now, the Bible is the most tangible way in which God has revealed himself to us today, and he's done it in all sorts of ways. You have narrative and poetry and, and, and wisdom. You have, you have the prophetic words in the Old Testament, and then in the New Testament, you have the Gospels talking about God in the flesh, coming down to earth and modeling for us the way we should live. Um, and then you have, you have the Acts, uh, Acts of the Apostles, the Acts of the Holy Spirit, the way in which the church conducted itself. And you have the letters like, like Paul wrote and a few others, um, which really just expand on this. What does it look like to, to live the Christian life? What does it look like to grow um, in the kingdom of God? All of this um, is really important for us as God's people. Uh, to understand what it means to grow for him. The problem that we have a lot of times, though, is that Scripture can be really, really hard to understand. And uh, if you dealt with that yourself and you felt like you were the only one, don't. I mean, everybody has that struggle. Even your preachers and some of the smartest people have a lot of, have a lot of trouble um, interpreting Scripture and understanding what it means. And a lot of the reason for that is that these things took place and were written over 2,000 years ago. Um, that's a huge culture and language gap that we have to overcome if we, want to, if we want to understand what this means for us today. And so what we've given you uh, for this Sunday night in your practice guide, and it's going to be online as well, is a, um, is a, a process that you can go through, a six-step process to help you understand and bridge that gap a little bit. Um, it's not going to answer all your questions. It's just a guide, but it's something that I believe will help you. Um, it, as you attempt to study and understand Scripture. So I hope you keep that as a resource, keep that as a guideline, um, and just whenever you have need of it, that you can refer to that and, uh, and learn how to study Scripture a little bit better. Now this first night in our small groups um, is going to be a little different from the other nights just because we're still getting used to this new format and we're still getting used to our new groups. So what we want you to do in this first, uh, on this first night is not to get in there and try to get really in depth. We just want to get to know each other. We want to get comfortable in our new setting. And uh, we want to talk, just have a conversation with each other about different ways that you have studied Scripture and different ideas, methods, um, things that you've done that have really benefited you. Um, I hope this is a beneficial time for everybody. And uh, as always, if you have any questions or concerns or comments, um, uh, feel free to talk to any one of us, any one of the ministers here. We'd be happy uh, to help you out with that. God bless you guys.